the minister and brethren uh, here in the United States and those in the, in the overseas locations. To you, the saints of God, who are here in America that have gathered, uh, we thank God for you, and we certainly greet those in the foreign lands likewise. The word of God is what we all live by. Is that right? Amen. It is so very needful right now in the last days, and uh, it behooves us to take good heed to the word of God. Hearing the word is wonderful. Obedience is far better. At this point in time, we're going to present unto our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger, the ambassador of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we are thankful to the one true living God for his <clears throat> divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding. Of all things, we thank him for sending the prophets and the holy apostles to leave his words, his testimony on record so nobody can come along afterward and be justified in running on their own. We are compassed about with a great cloud of witness. The apostles and the prophets were witnesses of God. You know, I don't want no one that didn't see the accident doing a lot of talk. I need an actual witness. The prophets and the apostles were witnesses of him. But were eyewitnesses. Of his majesty. Of his majesty. Did you hear that? Amen. So the prophets witnessed the things of God in the spirit. And the apostles witnessed the things of God when Jesus walked among them in the flesh. So we are grateful that God has provided us with plenty of information, plenty. Glory to God, he got it fixed so nobody won't have no excuse. We have plenty of information. Whether you believe God's word or not, that's your business. Plenty of information is documented for everybody even for the unbeliever, that he or she might become a believer. And there's plenty of information here for the believer that he or she can continue to walk according to what they know to be true in God everlasting word. I thank God for the way of holiness. It's strong. Glory to God. And it's distinguished from everything else. Don't sound like nothing else. God is all in it. I love to be in what God is in. I always want to be among that golden candlestick with the flame upon it. So I can behold the movement of God. You know, if you get a candlestick and you put that flame on it when he light it, you can tell what direction the wind is blowing. Well, the flame is the power of the candlestick. The spirit is the power of God that's in the church. And I always want to see God moving in the church. Now, when I say God moving in the church, it's more than jumping and shouting for me. Mm -mm, no. I got to see more than that. I want to see his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding, his divine information. God's word is what resurrects us from our dead state of ignorance. Jesus said, I'm the resurrection and I'm the life. I've been resurrected now over 40 years ago. I've experienced the resurrection of God. Anybody that's 
walking with God, get this, experience the resurrection. Because you were dead in trespass and in sin and in time past, you walked according to the course of this world. You was a fool. <laughs> That's right. Somebody say, well, I didn't do a whole lot. You still was a fool. Anyone that wasn't serving God was a fool. You done something, little or much, you done something. Well, we now live by God's permission and by God's mercy that God may dwell in us richly through and by divine information that comes from his word to guide us, to lead us, and to the path of righteousness. And brother, that path is before us. The path of righteousness, viewers, is before you. You're not forced to walk on it. You're not even forced to believe it. Do whatever you want. Go ahead. Glory to God. But the path is still before you. And you're not going to get around it. Love whatever bishop you want to love. Cater to any religion you want. Be loyal to it. Be the co-founder. But when the smoke clear, you're going to come back to what the Lord says or God going to be the worst enemy you have ever faced since you've been born. You know, I'd rather have the devil for an enemy than God. I'd rather have people for an enemy. They being an enemy than me don't break a sweat. But if God is your enemy, who can stop him? Who can hinder him? Who can threaten him and make him back up? Nobody. Nobody. If God be God, get this hard head. Serve him. If the devil be God, then you serve him. All right, Las Vegas, Nevada, February the 21st. Call for baptism, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, you're lost. Yeah, man. You got a chance now, February 21st at 6541 West Hammer Lane from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You got a chance now. You go ahead and repent now. Don't wait till you get there. The reason why I suggest you repent now, well, you're wicked now. You're wicked now. You get ready to give up and surrender and go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, 6541 West Hammer Lane, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., February 21st. Brother Minister Santana will be down there baptizing all of you lost Vegas, Nevada souls. Get yourself right with God. Brother James, this up to date what I send you? All right, we got some more now. More baptism. Seven here in headquarters. Three in South Carolina, one in North Carolina, two in Memphis, five in Florida. One in Alabama, and he was a preacher from Mississippi. Three in Baltimore, two in Atlanta. Amen. Viewers, did I tell you this is the Lord's doing? If I didn't, I just want to remind you. Glory to God. This is the Lord's doing. We're at the numbers are still coming in from 2020. And I believe we at 4,339. Late, late numbers are coming in. In the midst of a pandemic. And the false prophets wonder why I don't pay them no mind. Viewers, you see the performance of God right in front of your eyes. Holiness is the intelligence of God, the wisdom of God, the information of God, and it's the judgment of God. All wrapped up 
Glory to God and God's holy word. Again, I want to greet all of our beloved brothers and sisters around the world that are watching this morning, this afternoon, and tonight. I want to remind uh, Malawi and Mozambique, we'll be webcasting live to the churches of Africa in those two areas. Now, we will be here, the time in America, if I'm correct, it'll be 3 o'clock in the morning, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which will be about uh, either 3 o'clock or 3.30, but it'll be about 8 o'clock in the morning there. So you come on out now, come on out to this great gathering. Yeah. You're welcome to come. This is a red eye service. Yeah. Amen. You know, you know, it's worth, it's worth being at too. Yeah. <clears throat> because you really got to have a love for God. To be up two and three o'clock in the morning telling people to get right. Most time when people was up that time of morning, they were partying. Weren't you? You might as well say amen. You party hardy. Whenever you watching, you still sleepy from partying all last night. Well, I want to shake you with God's help. Wake your wicked, hell-bound, crooked soul up. That you may come on and be on God's side. It's 2021 now. And the uh, virus ain't gone. My God, I was listening to the news of that big crash there in Texas. The ice that fall on the East Coast and areas of the Midwest and the South. Over 100 car pile up. They got actual footages of it on YouTube and Trucks going full speed on a sheet of ice and couldn't stop. Crashing full speed. Cars mangled and twisted and several people was pushed out of time and tossed into eternity. Didn't have no idea that uh, it would be the last time. Amen. Some of the policemen said that some of the people there that was uh, in the wreck, had on scrubs, hospital clothes. They was finishing their shift, working all them long hours with COVID patients just to meet God in eternity. Viewers, what saith it? Nigh thee. It is high time now and that knowing the time you better hear this in the book of Romans chapter 13 and at verse 11 follow me in the holy book of scripture here and that knowing the time do you know what time it is that now it is high it time. it is high time to awake out of sleep wake up for now is our salvation wake nearer. up amen. wake up amen I'm warning you hard head I'm warning you, stubborn, stiff neck, arrogant Hollywood star swinger. That's right. You know, celebrities now, the devil making them so popular, they starting to rule religion. Religions is making decisions based upon the celebrities among them. Amen. There was a report that came to me that one celebrity said that if the church refused to accept the LGTPQRSTUXW, uh, he's supposed to have said he's not going to be a effing Christian no more. We're living in the last days. And the devil, get me, <clears throat> working hard to force his agenda upon the world. And you know what? He's being successful. That's right. And the fear of God have left 
most preachers, not all of them, but most of them, if they had it at all. Money came into play. Prosperity came into play, and because of such, God have been deemed not necessary for nothing. That's right. The prophet warned us of the actions and the attitude and the thinking and the feelings of the world. And then labeled them that think this way. He said, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. There is no God. And if you look at the attitude of the world today, many don't want God. That's right. Amen. I, I, and there was a fellow who took our program and uh, started airing it on his website called Something Media. And I saw it for the first time because when I see websites, some of them, not all of them, a lot of these people are not church people. And uh, he first played the message when I was blasting the Trumpites. And, and he said, well, this, this Gino, he can't pronounce, I, he didn't mention my last name right. I'm Jennings, not Jenkins. <laughs> Gino Jennings, not Jenkins. And he said, well, this Gino Jenkins, he's known for calling people out. He said, I don't like him. He said, in fact, I don't like him. I can't stand him. And there's a lot of people who can't stand us, but they are play this message on their website to get subscribers. That's right. That's true. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Yeah. They get subscribers because even the ones that don't like it know there's nothing like this. That's right. They know it. They know there's nothing like this that's drawing the people's attention back to that good old landmark. That's right. Our mission is to bring you back to God everlasting word. To remind you of God's original agenda, God's original agenda, God's original purpose. That's right. None of this farce, none of this imitation mess that men have hijacked and then labeled it Christianity. That's right. Mm -mm. Our mission is to call your attention. The God everlasting word. And after that, you're your own boss. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. You're your own boss. Do what you want, what you want. hypocrite. You can go to church every day and every night, be an altar boy, be one of the musicians playing the organ with your long hair like a woman. That's right. Mm-hmm. Be your transvestite assistant pastor. Be your queer deacon. That's right. Mm -hmm. Be your bigot bishop. That's right. Glory to God, but before my heavenly father, glory to God, appear up in the heavens. Yeah. You better come on back and do what the holy word Say do. That's right. It is high time. And that give, knowing, give, give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 13 at verse 11. What is it? And that knowing the time. Well, you know what time it is, viewer? Amen. No, there's, a, there's a saying, there's a kind of a slang that they have. You know what time it is. That's right. Eh? That's right. You can hear the sinner saying, you, you, you know what time it is. No. Do you know what you time know. it is? That's right. You know what time it is, sinner? Amen. You know, it's time for you to stop drinking and smoking and gambling. Hey, celebrity. You know, it's time for you to stop walking around looking like a prostitute in a hooker. Amen. 
You know it's time for you, fella. Stop walking around pimping. That's right. You know it's time for you to stop wasting your adult life sitting in comedy clubs, mm. going out there looking at women slide up and down poles, throw away your money, shoving money in their half naked clothes, right. what they got left. That's right. It's That's time right. for you to be a man and obey God and take care of your family. That's right. And off, hallelujah, blessed, hallelujah. Glory to God and give your mind, body, spirit over. Amen. To God's will. It's That's time right. for this. That's right. That's right. It's time for you thieves to get out the pulpit with your money prayer lines. Amen. Break up your folly ground, That's hypocrite. Right. That's right. It's time for you to stop liking God and love him. That's right. I don't trust nobody that said, well, I like God, you of the devil. Amen. Anybody say they like God and they like God's word? Who would trust them but a fool that don't know the Bible? That's right. When you like something, you ain't fully committed. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you hear this? In Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5. Thou shalt love shall the Lord thy God. Love. Amen. The Lord thy God, how strong? With all thine heart. No, 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 no. Hmm. With how much of my heart? With all thine heart. No room for cigarette loving? With all thine heart. I can't love God and joint. With all, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. I can't add a little of my heart towards crack. With all thine heart. No club. With all thine heart. No banquets. With all thine heart. Amen. God wanted it all. Oh, that's right. He's greedy. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. The reason why the God of heaven wanted it all, because he know he deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. He made heaven and earth so you can walk on it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He quickened the seed after it died. That's right. Glory to God that food may come out of the earth. That's right. He gave you cattle, yes. fowl of the air, fish of the sea, oh, yeah. that you may have meat to eat. That's right. Amen. He gave you vegetation. Glory to God that you may have herbs to dine herbs. upon. That's right. Bless the name. Yeah. He gave you rain and fruitful season. Yeah. Gave you sun that it may illuminate the universe. Mm. He showed you his wisdom. That's right. He showed you his handiwork until the Bible says, the heavens, bless God, declare. The handiwork of God. Work of God. The heavens declare the God's work. And the firmament showeth his hand. And the firmament show. Listen at this. Psalms 19 and verse 1. The heavens. The heavens declare the glory declare of God. Declare God's glory. And, and the, the firmament, firmament showeth his handiwork. How good is it? Day unto day uttereth speech. It just keep talking. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. Amen. I don't care how cold it is. And brother, it's, it's cold here. It's cold. I'd rather have this than hell. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. I'd rather for my mustache to freeze and fall off. That's right. And fall on the ground until it sound like glass when it break. Amen. Man, my eyebrows freeze up. That fall off. <laughs> my eyelashes freeze. <laughs> Let them fall off till they tinkle on the ground. That's until right. my face look like Casper the ghost. Amen. I take that. Oh, yes before I take hell. That's right. Thank That's God, right. in this cold, at least I can get some relief. Yeah. I can sit at a fireplace mm -hmm. or stand next to a radiator. Amen. But hell. Yeah. Mm. Hell. Yes. So I say I don't believe in no hell. That's your business. That's, that's, your, that's your problem. Hmm? That's your problem. <laughs> that's don't right. move me none. No. You may not believe that uh, the sun shines. You think God going to make the sun argue with you? It's going to keep shining. That's right. The Bible says it is high 
time. That knowing the time that Captain now, Bess. back in Romans 13 and verse 11. Knowing the time. That now it is high time. It is high time. To wake out of sleep. Wake up, wake up. Or wake out of sleep. Wake up. That's right. What do you mean? Let's get conscious. That's right. That's you know right. when you sleep, you're unconscious. Unconscious. Don't know your surroundings. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even know who's talking to you. They're trying to wake you up. You think you're looking and talking to somebody else. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wake up, Mr. and Miss. Wake up. Amen. Stop looking at yourself, glorying in your old piece of figure. <laughs> That's right. Won't be for long, your figure going to be in the grave. Yeah. Those hips going to be pushed in the casket. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. That fine hair that about 20 men play in. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. They're going to be covered with worms, lice, and rats. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? That now it is high time. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed yeah. be God. It is high time. To awake out of sleep. High time. High time. It's not just time. No, high it's time. High time. High time. It's the peak of time. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. You hear this message. That's right. You cuss it out. That's right. You revile it. Mm -hmm. You speak against it. That's right. That's right. You try to convince people that is wrong. You prophesy not unto us right things. You try to turn people away from this message. That's right. But because it's so strong, yes. it's stronger than you. Oh, yes. Never make you look at Geno Jennings. That's right. It's not Geno <laughs> Jennings. No. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. You don't like this message or your thoughts, the way you feel about it is in the Bible. Yeah. Let's read it now. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, I'm going to start reading. No, Galo, let's go back to where you are, son. Give me, I believe, Isaiah 5, 30 or Jeremiah 5 and 30. Jeremiah 5 and 30. Jer smooth thing. Give me the smooth thing. Yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter Isaiah, that's what I want, that's the smooth thing. Follow me and get me. This I is you. This is you, viewers. Isaiah chapter 30 and we're at verse 9. This is the way you feel. That this is a rebellious people. All right. First, God, let me know how you are. That's, that's right. why you don't like this. The fellas, no, these fellas are not over the air telling you about you. No. Amen. No. So many, they get so mad. He arrogant. One person said, well, several say I was possessed of the devil. What? They said, I'm possessed. <laughs> Do I look possessed? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, I laugh at the heathens. That's right. Amen. If this is being possessed, brother, then I, I thank God for it. Amen. Eh? Amen. Possess me, Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Possess my soul. That's right. Glory to God that I may warn creation. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to see to it that God can depend on me. Wonderful. Huh? Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, no, maybe so about Wonderful. it. I'm going to see to it Hallelujah. that heaven Hallelujah. can depend on me preaching this message. Hallelujah. That's why you can't offer me nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. Who? Nobody. Hallelujah. I've been Hallelujah. offered money, cars, houses, and land by all kind of people. Yeah. It ain't nothing compared to what I already had. That's right. We have this treasure here. That's right. Glory to have. God and earthly vessels. That's the excellency. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the power may be of God Hallelujah. and not of us. Hallelujah. God want a people that won't sell out. That's right. Hallelujah. I believe it is written, Ahab That's right. sold, his, sold soul. his soul. And so many of you watching me now, some of you, you had the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Yeah. Now look at you. Got a big gut from laying in the bar. That's right. Beer guzzlers. Yeah. Wine drinkers, yeah. crack takers, cigarette suckers. Amen. Amen. Turn your back on God. That's right. Ignore him. That's right. For some money. Amen. 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 You met some cheap man, and now you with him. 
and you left God for him. That's right. You left that woman. You left God, God. for the woman. That's right. You're so sad. So sad. I want to offer you a position. And you took it. Yeah. And turned your back on God. Look at you. Look at you, viewers. That's right. I'm telling you about you, and that's why you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Because the mega preacher ain't going to tell you about you. No. no, they were overpassed. They looked past the, the deeds of the wicked. That's right. What did he say? That this is a rebellious people. They're hard-headed. Lying children. They're liars. Children that will not they hear, the, hear law the, the, Lord, the God's law. Which say to the seers, they see not. They say to the preacher, please, don't see what we're doing. And to the prophets, prophesy not don't unto us right you things. tell us nothing right. We're too stubborn. We're too hard-headed. We don't want to hear nothing right. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell us what we love. Prophesy deceit. Trick us. That's right. That's right. That's something to tell a preacher. Amen. That's something to tell a preacher. That's right. Prophesy smooth things. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't, don't, don't tell us nothing right. Look, hey. we don't want to hear nothing about us one God. That's right. That's right. Give us a motivational sermon. Amen. Don't tell us it's wrong for women to preach. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't tell us it's, it's wrong for a woman to be a bishop or an apostle. That's right. Be quiet and hear me. Yes. Don't tell us that there's something wrong with being gay. That's right. That's right. Don't tell us it's wrong to be a transvestite. Amen. To be a transgender bishop. That's right. The Pope said it's all right. <laughs> Amen. That's truth. Did you hear? Prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy. Amen. Don't tell us what's right. That's some nerve. That's some nerve. That means don't you tell us what the scripture says. That's right. Don't do it. That's right. Amen. Just give us a motivational sermon. Yeah. Tell us today is our time. Mm -hmm. Breakthrough, breakthrough, break breakthrough. Through. Yeah. Breakthrough. Yeah. You're going to break through. Amen. Right in hell. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Those that obey this message when the Lord comes, they're going to be thankful. You're going to be glad that you heard and obeyed this message. Oh, yes. When the Lord comes. That's right. Viewers, there's only, listen, viewers, let's, let's get this real good. It's God's way or no way. Yeah. May as well just come to that reality and stop this international church play that's taking place in every country, every city, every town, and every village. That's right. Everybody going to have to come on back to what the Word of God said yeah. and do it God's way or die and go to hell. That's right. Get me? Prophesy not unto us right things. That's what, they, that's what they say to me. Yes. Oh, yeah. I get letters that tell me, why don't, you, why don't you have love? Every time you see me, you hear a loving message. It's a, it's a loving message. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Yeah, man, the reason why you don't think it's loving because you are church religious spoiled brat. Spoiled brat. And I won't pet you. Amen. I won't give you no rattle to play with. That's right. You go through these false prophets and they give you a rattle while you're on your way to hell. You just... That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, we come along and give you the word so you can chew on it. Oh, yes. Chew on it, I said. That's right. You're going to have to give up your second wife and give up your second husband. You're going to have to stop living together and not married. You're going to have to give up that transgender lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to take off those women's clothes. That's right. You're going to have to lay down your fake eyelashes, come out your wig, get out your lipstick. All the church is going to have to ban women out the pulpit. Amen. You're going to have to shut down every church that promote any religion of men. That's right. Mm. And the whole world, mm. you're going to have to be holy have or to be go holy. to hell. That's right. You can't even go back with God unless you're holy. Unless you're holy. When you're holy, you're blessed. Blessed, that's right. He said, blessed and holy is he to have part in the first resurrection on such a second death have no power. That's right.
All right, prophesy not unto us right thing. That's something to tell the preacher. Yes, it is. That's something to tell the preacher. Amen. Don't you tell us what's right. Speak unto us smooth things. That's what they tell me. Pastor Jenny, you need to show smooth. more love. Smooth. All you need is love. They want me to join the Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. All you need <laughs> is love. That's, That's right. That's the devil out of hell. <laughs> That's right. Love is all you need. Uh -huh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Amen. Come on back. Amen. Do you hear what the word said? Prophesy not unto us right things. That's the way they feel about this. Yeah. Won't you tell us what's right? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Why don't Come you on. kind of bargain? It's written, be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy right. Ghost. That's plain. It is plain, but you haven't obeyed it yet. That's right. What is the name of the mm -hmm. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Yeah. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. What do the human family want? Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't you tell us what's right. Speak. Don't, you let, don't you tell us it's wrong on the smoke. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don't you go bother my cigarettes. Amen. You know, I've got letters where people laid me out with that. My Lord. What you preaching against smoking for? Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking. <laughs> don't, 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 don't even mention it. Don't even mention it. Go on and preach Jesus <laughs> and him crucified. That's right. <laughs> The Holy Ghost has prophesied not unto us right things. Don't you prop, don't you tell us what's right. Speak unto us smooth things. Be cool. That's right. Smooth it out. Smooth it over. Smooth over it. Amen. What else do they want? Prophesied deceit. Trick us. Lie to us. Lie, that's right. Just go on and lie to us and then make us feel better. Mm hmm Amen. All right. Get you out of the way. D don't you follow what the word of God said. Get out of the way. Get you out of the way. That means get away from Jesus' teaching. That's right. The one said didn't say that. Jesus said, I am, I am the way. The way. The word that God and the truth and the life. So they want you to get out of the way. Get you don't, out don't, of the don't way. preach what Jesus preached. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't preach it. Ignore it. Amen. And for you blind people that think the teachings of Jesus is just red letters in the Bible. Oh, you so sad. <laughs> hey, man, what about if you get a Bible and none of the letters are red? Then what? Then what? From Genesis 1, 1 to Revelation 22, last verse, that's Jesus talking. That's right. Why? That's God talking. God talking. Don't tell us there's one God, Pastor Genesis. Be like everybody else. That's right. Three separate distinct personalities. Amen. Come on, Genesis. Trinity. That's right. Some folks comment and say, I, I enjoy Pastor Jennings, but that Trinity got me hung up. There is no Trinity. There is none. Well, Pastor Jennings, do you believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the Trinity. The Bible didn't say that. You did. That's right. The Bible ain't say that's the Trinity. No. You said it. No. I'm a father. First, I'm a son. I'm a husband. Now, I'm a father. I'm a pastor. I'm a bishop. I'm a brother. I ain't got multi-personalities. No. I'm one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Glory to God. What did he say? Get you out of the way. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Wait a minute. Turn aside. Mm, turn that lets aside. you know the prophet was on the straight path. That's right. Glory to God. And being that he was on the straight path, he had a straight message and it troubled the human family so bad, what did they suggest? Turn aside out of the path. Glory to God. Amen. Get out of the path, what do you mean? Get away from that which the Lord which the have Lord. said. That's right. Don't tell us what the Lord said. No. Give us your own view. That's right. Give us your opinion. That's right. Be nice. Be nice. Just give us, what do you feel nice. about it? Yeah. Because that's what the churches are giving out. Amen. That's what the pulpits are doing now, viewers. That's right. They're giving you their feelings. They're giving you their idea. Yeah. They're giving you their philosophy. Yeah. The word of God is not here so man can give his own opinion. No. no, no. The word of God is here so man can say what God say. And if God didn't say it, shut up. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Amen. 
Word of God says what? Get you out of the way. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. How do they feel, William? Cause the call, Holy One of Israel. Cause the Holy One of Israel. To cease from before us. Get God out of our view. That's it. Just stop holding God in front of us. That's right. Just stop holding the Word of God in front of us. Amen. You ain't got to preach the Bible every time every you time. get up. That's right. That's right. And that's the nature, the nature and the mindset and the feelings of the human family. Oh, yeah. That's why they love these mega churches that don't preach no Bible. Mm -hmm. All they got motivational speakers. That's all. That's all. They tell you, friends, <laughs> this is your time right now. I, I, I see it coming. I see it coming. Yeah. All you got to do is grab it. <laughs> And there it is. That's right. Ha 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 ha. All you got to do is hold it. Hold it. And there it is. That's right. You got one laughing at you. You got another one blowing at you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And motivate you to go against God and motivate you to hate God. And this lightweight, smooth, sugar, watered down hypocrisy that you call church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what they call it. Have made you rebellious. That's right. This is a rebellious people. Against the reality of God's word. That's right. That's right. Rebellious people. And the word of God is telling us how the people are like this. That this what the people is calling for. That this is a rebellious people. It's a reason why they become rebellious. That, they were transformed. That's right. That's right. Transformed for the worse and not for the better. Not for the better. Amen. Listen, give chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter 30, still in verse 9. That's what? That this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that children will not that hear will the law of hear. the Lord. They won't hear God's law. My job, viewers, is to bring you God's law. That's, That's right. why I don't care if you don't like me. That's Listen right. to Pastor Jennings now. I don't. That's I right. don't lose sleep at all. <laughs> Some time you write me and call me all kind of names. <laughs> They make comments under the bottom, cussing. Mm. Call me a mother so-and-so. One man say, you're preaching, nigger. My Lord, my Lord. That's all right. Mm. One man said, the day that your mother birthed you, she should have aborted you. I'd never forgive that. Lord. Man got so mad with me, he said, the day your father slept with your mother and your mother realized she was pregnant with you, she should have aborted you. My God, my God. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. It wasn't God's will. My Lord. God sent me to burn you with this gospel so the devil can come and make you cry out what's in you. That's right. That's right. Mm. That's the true sign mm. of a real man of God. Yeah. Woe unto them whom the world speak well of. That's right. Glory to God, glory to God. That what did this, he say? This is a rebellious people. This Amen. is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that children will not children hear the law of the Lord. will not hear God's order of things. Which say to the seers, see not. Oh, that's what they tell the preacher. Oh, yeah. All the preacher wife got to do is tell him, look, don't preach. Don't, don't want you to preach something else. Don't worry about that today, don't honey. That. It's, it's Women's Day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's Women's hey, Day, honey. You ain't got to talk about hell and all that stuff today. today. Us women want encouragement. <laughs> Amen. We're going we gonna to get our flowers on our lapels, and we all going to be in uniform. We want a Women's Day sermon. Women's Day sermon. That's right. Am I right? Amen. And yeah, the false prophet will obey it. The husband yes, will obey will. it. That's right. Glory to God. What is it? Which say to the seer, see not. Now, when the preacher will give the people what they want, opposite from what God says. Amen. Viewers, remember, that preacher is not of God because according to the word of God, clear instructions is given. Yeah. The apostle gave us clear instructions. He says, by God's permission, 
preach the word. Preach the word. Didn't it? Yes, he did. Thank God, preach the word. And then he instant. told us how consistent to be. That's right. He said, be instant. In season. Hallelujah to God. In season and out of season. Out of season. What, what else should we do with the word? Reprove. What? Reprove. Give chapter and verse for this. Second Timothy chapter 4 and at verse 2. Lay them out. Reprove. Lay them out. That's right. What else, man? Rebuke. Rebuke. Exhort. Exhort. With all long suffering and, and, and doctrine. And, and suffering going to come with it. Yes, it will. And you got to stay in the doctrine. For the time will come. And I can say the time is here. When they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want it. No. Go right there, God. They don't want this sound doctrine. That's why I say it ain't no need for no preacher to reach out to us and say you want to walk with this and you don't want to endure sound, sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Stay right where you're at and keep crocheting where you are. That's right. We all about God and God's Hallelujah. word. Hallelujah. And God has stand and standing behind this. God is standing behind it too. Yes, he is. Yes, Bless is. the name of God. For the time will come when they will not enjoy Hallelujah. sound Listen, doctrine. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The time will come. Will come. When they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want it. That's right. They don't, don't want it. Go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They don't want it. Amen. Many of them baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's all they want. That, that, that's right. They want the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. After that, knock off. N knock off. Amen. Don't tell us nothing else. That's right. We don't want nothing else. Nothing, nothing else. You want to walk around with red lip women, red lip men, yeah. gay men all on the choir, bobbing their head like boggleheads on dashboard. <laughs> That's right. Choir full of bogglehead oh, men. Yeah. Glory to God, That's a right. bunch of bogglehead men. That's right. And this trash is accepted in the fake religion called Christianity. Amen. Amen. If you are Christ's people, you're supposed to reflect him. Mm -hmm. It ain't no man reflect God acting like a woman. No. No way. No. How in the world can a preacher stand in the pulpit of your church? Let the church say amen. Let the church say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these full faces. Faces, that's right. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And you sitting there saying, well, well he's just humble. No, no, he's a pulpit pervert. Amen. Yeah, that's a problem. God made man, man. and sent man, man to represent him. That's right. That's right. That's right. God ain't responsible for this that's church right. trash. No. It's church trash. Amen. Church trash. Trash. That's right. And we come along to sweep that trash sweep up with scripture up. Yeah. and then burn it up. Amen. Amen. We ain't going to sweep it, then recycle it. <laughs> and a new homosexual will come out of it. No. Huh? No. No, we're going to sweep it up sweep and it then up. burn it up with God everlasting word. That's, That's right. why you don't like this. Mm -hmm. You don't like it because your daddy is gay. Amen. And your son and your mama, and your daughter, mm -hmm. and your grandmama. Mm. Here you is an old preacher, 77 years old, with a blood red suit, <laughs> blood red top, blood red Pope shoes. <laughs> My Lord. Old hypocrite. Old. Stop trying to be all loud and flashy so you can pick up some young, naive piece of meat. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. What is the thoughts of the people? Back in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9, that this is a rebellious people. Hardhead. Lying children. Liars. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You can't tell them nothing. A celebrity will 
tell them any, anything. They'll go after it. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Politicians will tell them anything. They'll go after, go it. after it. You point them to the Bible, it's this strange hate yeah. that the church world yeah. has yeah. towards Scripture. That's right. It's a hate they have. You tell them what the word of God said, mm -hmm. and here you got Easter coming. Mm -hmm. You know the Easter egg lie. Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that false prophet, they already preparing, even in the pandemic. <laughs> One thing about the pandemic, it don't keep the Easter rabbits out. <laughs> You'll find an uh, a, a Easter bunny with the COVID virus. <laughs> hey, man, the COVID bunny. Go <laughs> to <laughs> God. A COVID bunny. <laughs> now you hell bound viewers, amen. <laughs> you wouldn't call this preaching. You know what? You know why? What you used to? What the Lord said. This is what the Lord said. This is what the Lord. Said. That's right. Like somebody being flushed down the toilet. Amen. That's, that's what you used to. That's what they used to. We come along plain, plain, direct. Oh, yeah. In your wicked face. Amen. Tell you in the language that's just as plain and down to earth. Yeah. It's not above your head. Amen. You got to understand it. Got to understand it. it. You that's getting ready for the COVID bunny. <laughs> uh, There's going to be a sick rabbit coming. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I have to be instant in an end season. Yeah. Instant, in season, season and out of season. Mm. Same time every year. Yeah. You liars getting ready to celebrate something that Jesus didn't never yeah. tell you he rose on Easter. That's right. The resurrection ain't got nothing to do with rabbits no. <clears throat> and eggs no. and pick and baskets. When I was young and in elementary school, we made our, amen. Easter bonnets. Easter bonnets. <laughs> All the thrills. You know, and then we had to parade around the neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> you remember when? I remember that. You made yours? Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Arts and crafts. Yeah. I think of it now, what a fool I was. Amen. Amen. But I had my arts and crafts, got the little paper plate, and got at elbows macaroni. <laughs> Do you remember oh, yeah. taking a macaroni and Elmer's glue and putting it on your hat, getting some glitter, some glitter, putting it on there, put a hole on each end and get a string, <clears throat> put your bonnet on put and everybody's in the parade, in the marking parade. through the neighborhood. The neighbors come out, oh, look at the children. That's right. And I had my little dumb, ignorant, hell-bound bonnet on. <clears throat> I forgot how old I was when I concluded I ain't doing that no more. Mm -hmm. I ain't even had to wait for my mama to tell me. I was still in elementary school, and I felt stupid with a macaroni plate <laughs> on my head. Imagine he had God serving walking God around with a macaroni <laughs> plate. And I, re <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> walking through the neighborhood, oh, and then a lot of time the teacher that's with us, she'll be out there while we walk him through the neighborhood, and we'll be singing, with your Easter bonnet, all your thrills with upon all it. the thrills <laughs> upon it, you'll be the grandest <laughs> lady in the Easter parade. Ask <laughs> the devil. <laughs> I remember singing that thing, <laughs> tossing my head back. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Jenny, were you a fool? Yes. Yeah. Give me Titus, Titus three and three. Three and three. That's right. I was. That's right. And some of you still are. Amen. You stop having your children making that old macaroni hat. Yeah. Take that macaroni, cook it, and eat it. That's right. All right, let's see the condition that we were in. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. <laughs> what is it, for, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. How many here had their Easter bonnet in school? Raise your hand. Uh, you remember that? <laughs> or your macaroni hat. Amen. Looking like a fool. A fool. Little frills upon it. 
little stuff <laughs> hanging from a paper plate. <laughs> you had yours with him? Oh, yeah. I loved it, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> he said you loved it. Loved Go it. wait for it to come around. Amen. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. <laughs> All right, you better read before he have an Easter attack. Come for, on. For, for, <laughs> Let's have it. But we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Were. That's were. the past. Were. That's what we're trying to do, viewers, that get you out of that foolishness. That's right. Easter ain't got dick to squat to do with the resurrection. No. Jesus ain't never told you he rose on Easter. No more than he told you he was born on Christmas. That's right. Two lies that's guaranteed to be celebrated. That's right. All right. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Sometimes foolish. Disobedient. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Disobedient, hard head, deceived, tricked, serving divers lusts and pleasures. Serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice. And envy. Envy. Hateful and hateful hating and one another. Hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, oh, toward we man have a, We have a good God. Oh, yes. Don't we? Amen. We have a good God. Amen. He didn't allow us to be cut off with these dumb macaroni hats on. <laughs> That's right. Then allowed us to be cut off when we would had Easter egg hunts. Easter eggs. Huh? That's right. Then allowed us to be cut off when we was making Easter baskets and different parents and don't go into the store and buying fake grass and getting that construction paper <laughs> and staplers. Stapler. I still remember it. <laughs> construction paper and staplers and putting that thing together and then you are so happy decorating it and coloring it and the front of the basket the paper basket was the face or the head shape of a rabbit <laughs> and you drew the whiskers drew on whiskers. it and the eyes and <laughs> that's the devil that's right that's the devil that's of the devil it's of the devil if your children doing it you are giving them lessons of the devil that's right Hallelujah. You want eggs? Eat them. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, yeah. Listen. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Foolish. Disobedient. Disobedient. Deceived. Strict, serving divers lusts and pleasures. Lust and pleasures. Living, living in malice, in malice and malice, envy. Hateful. Envy. Hateful. And hating one another. They couldn't stand folk. But after that, but the after kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared. the name appear. of the great God of heaven. Amen. Yeah. The mercy of God come to us. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Not by something we done that deserve it, but by what? But according to his mercy. There it is. He saved us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. God mercy. That's it. That's brought it. us here. That's right. And it is God mercy. That's right. That'll keep us here. Amen. Amen. Listen, viewers. Hate me all you want, get over it, because it's not going to solve nothing. No. You eat, you walk, you talk, you have your being, you breathe by God's mercy. That's right. I strongly advise you to use his mercy to your advantage. That's right. And repent of your foolish sins. Amen. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. I don't care nothing about what your pastor told you. Ignore him. Yeah. You repent of yours. If he tells you you don't have to be baptized, ignore the liar. Your pastor is a liar, even if he's your father. That's right. That's right. Repent of your sins. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. To get your sins washed away, and this is what God promised. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why? Christ. For the promise is unto you. It's to you. And to your children. And it's to your youngins. And to all that are far off. Even. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The Bible said the Lord have spoken. Amen. He have called the whole earth. Glory to God from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Down thereof. So when you find that many people complaining about this message, yeah. but yet there are thousands and hundreds of thousands that are waking up. That's right. That's right. You don't need me to add to the sugar that's out here. No. You got too many sugar, sugar daddies. Amen. These mega churches, that's all they produce. Sugar daddies and a sugar baby congregation. That's right. Motivational speakers. 
Hmm. We want to motivate you to please God. Amen. We want to motivate you to repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We want to motivate you to seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues yeah. at the Spirit of God give us. We want to motivate you to believe the Scriptures. That's it. We want to motivate you to turn away from your lifestyle and get ready to obey God. That's it. If not, Amen. all right. All right. God will take care of you. Oh, yes. One thing I say about it, <clears throat> you can be rich, you can be a celebrity, you can be a millionaire, you can be a politician. Yeah. But one thing I say about that COVID virus, notice, out of all your wealth, you can't bribe the virus. No. <clears throat> it's killed your mama, yeah. father, brother, sister, aunt, husbands, wives, children, preachers. Virus don't care who you are. No. These are the last days. That's right. And the hand of God in the form of judgment and mercy is upon the world. That's right. You better hear this message hard hit. Yeah. The hand of God in the form of mercy and judgment, and judgment. is upon the world. Amen. I strongly advise you, <clears throat> choose ye this day. <clears throat> whom you going to serve. serve. If God be God, serve him. serve him. If the devil be God, serve him. Go back to the original thing and see what, what time is it. Back in so Romans, we can knock off. Back in Romans 13 and verse 11. What is it? And that knowing the time. Do you know what time it is? Do you Amen. know what time it is, viewers? Mm -hmm. Knowing the time. That now it now is high time. It is high time. To awake, to out, awake of sleep. out of sleep. For now is our salvation now nearer. Now is our salvation nearer. Than when we believe. You don't have long to be a fool. That's right. You don't have long to be a hardhead. That's right. You don't have long to blaspheme the scriptures. That's right. You don't have long to cuss me out. You can cuss me out all day. Go to sleep cussing me out. Amen. Then wake up in the middle of the night and keep it up. Amen. Go back to sleep. Start when you're 15 and quit by the time you're 97. My Lord. That don't matter. No. This book here. Won't change. That's right. Heaven and earth, thanks be unto That's God, right. shall pass away. Yeah. But the Lord say, my word shall, shall not pass. pass. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Anybody here want to obey God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it. If not, you heard it again, viewers. You judge. <laughs> you judge now. <laughs> it is high time to... Wake we, we out of sleep. sleep. All right, let us all stand. Brother Taj, the evangelist, will close us out in prayer. Our eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you again for this day. We thank you for your mercies towards us. Thank you for your eternal word. The word of God comes to help us to prepare ourselves to meet you. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that we lay your word to heart that we be not just hearers of thine word, but that we be doers also. Keep and protect us as we travel back to our separate destinations. Watch over us and help us, O oh Lord God, to come up to all that is written in your word. These blessings and thanks we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the people of God say amen. amen. amen.